Welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates hello students welcome back to commerce online classes so in the previous class we had discussed regarding the fixed exchange rate system let us look at what is the second main determinants of exchange rate system the second main determinants of exchange rate system is flexible exchange rate system what is this flexible exchange rate system flexible exchange rate system is nothing but students here the exchange rate is fixed on the basis of market forces so market forces that is demand and supply exchange rate is fixed on the basis of demand and supply of currencies in the market means inflow and outflow of the economic activities on the basis of floating the exchange rate is fixed thus it is also called as floating exchange rate system on the basis of floating or on the basis of exchange of goods and services and currencies in the foreign exchange market the exchange rate is fixed so it is called as floating exchange rate system why it is said to be the flexible exchange rate system means by seeing the demand for the goods and currency in the foreign market on the basis of demand going to supply the goods and services and managing our official reserves so exchange is taking place on the basis of demand and supply that are called as market forces market forces all the market activities are done on the basis of demand and supply if there is no demand no supply if there is no supply lack of products thus on the basis of market forces demand and supply exchange rate is fixed thus it is said to be the flexible exchange rate system flexible exchange rate system so it is not at all rigid because on when the demand changes exchange rate changes when the supply changes exchange rate may change change according to the market forces exchange rate may change according to the market forces that is demand and supply thus it is said to be the flexible exchange rate system or floating exchange rate system so in the previous first method fixed exchange rate system or stable exchange rate system in that also we discussed some advantages and disadvantages in the form of merits and demerits so let us look at flexible exchange rate its advantages and disadvantages or why it is essential for the foreign exchange market through the merits and demerits of flexible exchange rate system so this flexible exchange rate system is very helpful than the fixed exchange rate system because in the fixed exchange rate system officially the exchange rate fixed by the government there is it is very difficult to change the rate according to the time being but under the flexible exchange rate system on the basis of market forces we can change the exchange rate through the demand and supply if the demand increases supply increases during that time exchange rate also changes thus during the deficit in balance of payment occurs during this period also it may take some steps through the flexible manner to change the exchange rate by seeing the demand and supply in the foreign exchange market by the official reserves thus flexible exchange rate system is also called floating exchange rate system 
here exchange rate or determined or fixed on the basis of market forces that is demand and supply so it is easy to change the exchange rate when the deficit or surplus in balance of payment arises official reserves also changes so let us see the merits and demerits of flexible exchange rate system or floating exchange rate system first one is merit of flexible exchange rate system is to maintain balance of payment of a economy balance of payment means already i said it is a record of annual transaction of receipts and payments of goods and services throughout the country or one country with the rest of the world so suppose any deficit or any surplus in the balance of payment arises during this time demand and supply changes market forces it affects on market force that is demand and supply during this time it is easy to change the exchange rate system and to maintain the surplus and deficit in balance of payment if the surplus or deficit shortage or if the surplus in balance of payment arises it is easy to maintain the balance of payment in the flexible exchange rate system so what about the demerits so at the same time the demerit of this flexible exchange rate system or floating exchange rate system is it encourages speculation as i said in the first method of determining the exchange rate system that is a fixed exchange rate system there is no chance for the speculation because already people know the demand and supply of the foreign exchange rate means price of the currency so there is no any speculating speculation means assuming th something about the predicting speculation is nothing but predicting the future price or future foreign exchange rate thus it encourages speculation for an exchange market under flexible exchange rate system one of the drawback is it encourages speculation people will be or all the economies of the country will be in the tense mode because they don't know when or when the exchange rate will be fluctuating or change thus it encourages speculation is one of the demerit of flexible exchange rate system second main merits of flexible exchange rate system is countries gain independence in conducting monetary policies now all the countries they can know about their own monetary policy and they can maintain their own monetary policies and they are independent or free to choose their own monetary policies and generate their own monetary policies because flexible exchange rate system is there on the basis of the country's financial uh, system or country's financial capacity they can go for the international trade through the if the deficit or surplus in the balance of payment by seeing the demand and supply in the market it is easy to the less developed countries to compete with the rest of the countries in the world what are the drawbacks so at the same time demerit of this flexible exchange rate system is it have more foreign trade it is very harmful and it collapses the foreign trade why it is because when the exchange rate will change every time it will adversely affect on the economic activities of the country it cannot speculate what will be in future so always in the confusion manner thus it hammers foreign trade international trade so at what quantity of goods should be exported or what quantity of goods should be imported that and all depends upon the exchange rate system means price fixed by the monetary system 
so it is difficult to assume what uh, how much goods should be produced and how much goods should be exported what kind of goods should be imported for the future so it is very difficult for the foreign trade or international trade thus it hammers foreign trade and international relations so next main advantage or merits of flexible exchange rate system or floating exchange rate system is here no government intervention so under the fixed exchange rate system we studied that government is going to fix the exchange rate system and all the economic activities are under the control of the government because it's and it's fixed by the government or monetary authority but in case of floating exchange rate or flexible exchange rate there is no government intervention on the basis of market forces demand and supply exchange rate is going to be fixed by the authorities monetary authorities any country can follow their own monetary policy so here independence to follow their own monetary policies whatever the money we have from that we can purchase the goods whatever we want at particular time so there is no any fixed period of time and fixed exchange rate for the particular country so no government intervention in the foreign exchange rate or fixing the foreign exchange rate it is very flexible to fix the exchange rate on the basis of demand and supply that are called as market forces next one is it generates inflationary trends it generates inflationary trends well, why it generates inflationary trends because suppose the export import increases in a rapid manner export increases one country can gain a lot other country may lose inflation is nothing but you know that general prices rising in a continuous manner so too much inflation is too bad for the economy continuous rise in the general price level and fall in the value of money there is no value for the present whatever the money we have so developed countries there is no value for the money inflation arises means it adversely affects on the developing countries they may sell the goods on the basis of their demand and supply for the higher exchange rate it will adversely affect on the developing countries or poor economies so one more drawback of this exchange rate system flexible exchange rate system is wide fluctuations in the foreign exchange rate in foreign exchange market due to the wide changes in the market forces demand and supply if there is change in the demand and supply automatically there should be change in the foreign exchange rate if the demand increases foreign exchange rate decreases if the supply increases foreign exchange rate also increases like that wide fluctuations means variations in the foreign exchange rates leads to the in foreign exchange market leads to wide fluctuations it is adversely affect and hammers the foreign trade so one more merits of this flexible exchange rate is no need to hold exchange reserves under the fixed exchange rate system it is uh, we discussed that it is difficult to speculate how much foreign reserves should be kept in the form of reserve but here new question of foreign exchange reserves no need of keeping foreign exchange reserves because we uh, don't know what happens in future so there is no any speculation so no need to hold the foreign exchange reserves on the basis of demand and supply whatever the money we have whatever our monetary capacity on the basis of that our monetary authority is going to discuss how much to import and how much to export those on the basis of demand by seeing the demand we are going to supply the goods and services so foreign exchange rate is also determined on the basis of market forces demand and supply so due to this floating exchange arises floating is nothing but flexible exchange rate system so flexible exchange rate system is nothing but students it is a method of determining exchange rate while fixing the exchange rate there are three methods fixed exchange rate system flexible exchange rate system and managed floating 
flexible exchanger system is nothing but in flexible exchanger system the exchange rate is fixed on the basis of market forces demand and supply here some merits and demerits so first merits of flexible exchange rate system i will say to maintain balance of payment surplus or deficit and it helps countries to gain independence in conducting monetary policies and no government intervention and no need to hold foreign exchange reserves under the flexible exchange rate system demerits of flexible exchange rate system is it encourages speculation wide fluctuations in the foreign exchange rate in foreign exchange markets and it hammers foreign trade means it collapses the foreign trade or adversely effect on foreign trade and it generates inflationary trends in the economy it generates inflationary trends in the economy these are the merits and demerits of second main method of exchange rate determining exchange rate third main method of determining exchange rate is very very important that is managed floating or it is also called as dirty floating why it is called dirty floating means it is the combination of fixed exchange rate system and flexed flexible exchange rate system thus managed floating or dirty floating is nothing but it is the mixture of fixed exchange rate system and flexible exchange rate system thus managed floating or dirty floating is the exchange rate system to determine the exchange rate in the open economy let us see what is this dirty floating or managed floating as i said it is a, a combination or mixture of both first and second methods that is fixed exchange rate system and flexible exchange rate system so here the central government intervals in buy and sell of foreign currencies earlier we discussed only monetary authorities and on the basis of monetary policies of the this whatever the countries we are going to discuss the foreign exchange market but it is utterly different but it is a combination of both first and second fixed fixed and flexible exchange rate here central bank central bank of the country intervals in interacts in buy and sell of foreign currencies here central government is going to decide how much the currency should be buy and how much currency should be sell so rate is fixed by the central government under the managed floating thus it is said to be the dirty floating managed floating is nothing but students it is the combination of first and second methods of determining exchange rate that is fixed exchange rate and flexible exchange rate system so under the managed floating central bank is going to decide how much currency should be buy and sell in the foreign exchange market so next we are going to discuss about the meaning of official reserve sale meaning of official reserve sale so in the next class we are going to discuss about meaning of official reserve sale thank you don't forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates